Hey, this is Mike from MMA Gym Reviews. This is my second video of the day. Please like, share this video, comment on it. I'm trying to get more views, trying to get more awareness towards MMA, MMA related products and working out. But enough about that, today I'm going to share some tips with you on taking pre-workout supplements. They don't go in any particular order, but these are some of the most important tips for you. Never take more than the recommended dosage. I always hear people, expect, you know, even my friends, you know, they take all these, uh, you know, supplements, you know, and they add like five scoops. That's actually really unhealthy and very unsafe. One of my uh, friends actually took like five scoops a day. It wasn't Jack. I, I can't remember what it was, but uh, he took like five scoops a day for football. And then after a few months, he went to the doctor and he actually had a heart murmur. So, I mean, these have real effects. And then if you, you know, abuse them, they're going to have negative health effects. And their effects are real. So you definitely want to take the recommended dosage. After you start taking them, you're obviously going to, you know, work up an immunity towards them. Just like everything. So you're going to have to add a little bit more. But, you know, you want to rotate them off. And we're going to talk about that later. But don't take more than the recommended dosage. That's one of the number one things that you want to keep in mind when you're taking a pre-workout supplement. Take a pre-workout on an empty stomach because if you take if you eat and then, you know, take a pre-workout within, you know, two hours of uh, when you ate last, you're not going to get, you know, the full uh, pre-workout effect because your food in, because the food in your stomach is actually going to uh, dilute the pre-workout supplement. What people do, it seems like, is they eat and then, you know, 20 minutes later, they take a pre-workout supplement and then they complain, you know, oh, you know, I never feel the effects. Well, that's because the food is actually diluting the pre-workout supplement. And then later, you're going to feel some of the effects. Always take a quality pre-workout supplement, like 1MR, Alarm, and especially like the new Jacked. It's a better, it's better for you. So check out that. Don't go to, you know, Walmart, you know, and buy some crappy quality pre-workout supplement because you're not going to get the best bang for your buck. Yeah, it might be a little bit cheaper in the beginning but you're not going to get the, as good as quality. Taking a pre-workout supplement, you always want to cycle it. Don't take them for months at a time. You know, you want to take this for a month, you know, go a month off. Or even if you really want to do it, like two months of, you know, you know, like muscle farms or, you know, alarm, and then take a month off. You don't constantly want to be on, you know, a pre-workout supplement for months at a time because you're going to have to up the dosage of it, and it becomes unhealthy for you. This is Mike from MMA Gym Reviews. Go check out my other videos, comment, subscribe. Have a nice day. Go with God.